Well, welcome back. Um, it's been a minute. I uh, I don't want to dwell on it too long because I want to get into the react for today. But um, I I just want to give a quick thank you to uh, a creator that I spoke with who uh, helped kind of clear some things up for me. Uh, via email, I was actually really, really surprised that uh, this particular creator who has um, many, 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 many followers and a, and a very busy YouTube channel uh, actually took the time to get back to me and help kind of sort out some questions that I had and, and help me kind of figure out uh, how I can go about getting back to doing this thing, which is uh, creating these React videos uh, uh, for for the YouTube channel. And, uh, and so I have, um, I have, I have a big thanks to give, uh, for that particular creator that I spoke with, uh, who will remain nameless for reasons. But, uh, that being said, <clears throat> I have a react for you today. And, uh, uh, you may notice that there's been some changes up in the corner. Uh, I am no longer doing Patreon, at least for the time being. Uh, it didn't make a lot of sense for me to have a Patreon account that I uh, wasn't creating any content for. Uh, largely because I've been spending most of my time on Twitch. I'm streaming on Twitch four nights a week, uh, as well as hanging out in uh, my Discord server. And you'll find links to both my Twitch and my Discord in the description down below. But um, this React Today comes from... Uh, someone who is incredibly supportive on my Patreon continues to be incredibly supportive in my React, in my uh, uh, Discord channel, and in my community uh, on Twitch. And so uh, we are going to start with uh, a short list uh, over the next several videos of Reacts that have been requested by uh, some incredibly supportive uh, folks uh, in my Discord community. And we're starting with uh, this one, which is, well, you see the title. It's It's called Champagne Taste on a Beer Budget, and it's by an uh, acapella group that goes by Home Free. I've never heard this. <laughs> Hanging out in a canoe like you do. The other day I checked my bank account. I could swear it was the wrong amount. And I didn't understand because I've been working hard. For the life of me, I didn't know where it went. I hadn't even paid the rent. Then the Mercedes pulled up in the yard. That dude has an insanely low voice. Uh, if I recall correctly, I think he, I think he's the current like reigning champ of bass singers in acapella groups. Uh, there, I've, I've watched several videos and, and his name escapes me off the top of my head. Uh, I'll have to look it up later. Um, again, I don't do any research for these. Like these is all like any thoughts or insights that I have for these videos is entirely off the top of the head. Like I, I try to do as little research as possible to keep my reacts as pure and, and, uh, uh in the moment as possible. That being said, uh, this bass singer, dude, whose name I forget, uh, has been featured in several videos where they've compared him with Avi from Pentatonix and uh, Jeff from Voice Play, and I think between the three of them, this dude is the one that can hit the lowest notes, uh, and is like the current like bassiest singer of the bass singers. Uh, but definitely, uh, definitely uh, a highlight of this group, and 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 a guy that you should keep your keep your ears out for. Oh Lord, I should have seen it coming. This time I'm in deep. Now I'm heading to the poor house or heading to jail. And if I end up there, I ain't making bail. And if it goes to court, I sure don't have a case. Cause I ran out of money some time ago. But if you look at my wife, you'd never know. I'm afraid my baby's got champagne taste. On a beer budget. <laughs> My throat dried up and my heart just sunk as she motioned me over and popped the trunk and I tried to ignore her absent-minded smile. And boy, I was greeted by quite the crew. This Louis Vuitton and some Jimmy Choo and that was just the fellas who were sitting on top of the pile. I said, baby, there's a Walmart a block away and I don't think they sell these brands. Uh, they don't sell those brands at Walmart. Also, um, I couldn't quite tell. It sounds like... They're, 
there might be some overdubbing happening here because I couldn't tell from the the performances of the other four who was doing the bass part. Um, it seemed like uh, you had the one dude doing the percussion, and then you had the other three guys uh, that were that were doing the backup harmonies and stuff. Um, and then the the dude who normally does the bass part is singing the lead right now. So where's that bass coming from? Because there's a solid bass line going on underneath all of it, and I don't know, I don't know where it's coming from. Is it is it pot? Like, am I crazy? Is it possible that these fellas are uh, maybe? you know, recording an extra track or two in the studio. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, literally every musical artist does that. And you and you can rearrange. That's the thing that I think a lot of acapella fans maybe have a hard time accepting is that you can you can rearrange stuff for the stage so it sounds a little bit different than it does in studio. Uh, because the experience of, of live music is always going to be different than the experience of listening to it on a professional recording so you know if they chose to have him do the bass track and then also do the lead and sort of dub on top of himself for the purposes of this video and the and the studio recording and then change up that arrangement for so they can perform it live like there is absolutely nothing wrong with that in fact i would even go so far as to say if you look at uh uh like a someone like a justin timberlake if you haven't seen justin timberlake's uh, uh, special that he did on Netflix, I think two years ago. Uh, first of all, it's fantastic. Uh, and second of all, you, you see Justin on stage with an entire band and, uh, an entire production crew. They're putting on a huge, massive, like, like elite level performance, uh, in the, in whatever, whatever auditorium it was that they decked out or whatever stadium it was, they decked out for this crazy show. Uh, but the, the the takeaway from that performance is that none of the songs sound exactly like they do on the album. They all sound very close. They all sound very similar, but they're not exactly the same. And usually it's because you can retool arrangements for live performance so that the experience live is just slightly different than it is on the recording. If you want to hear the same thing that you're hearing on the recording, like you can listen to the recording, right? So... It's totally okay. It is totally okay if they decided to add an extra track here so that he could do the bass and the, and the lead at the same time. I'm super fine with that. In fact, I encourage it because it makes the home listening experience just a little bit better. And then when you go to see them live, you get to experience how they would rearrange and retool the song for a live performance. And, uh, and, and it just creates a completely different experience. I think it creates something a little extra special for those that, buy the ticket and, and, and make the trek to see the show. Now, mid pandemic, obviously there's not gonna be any shows anytime soon, but, uh, you know, this was all recorded and produced like well before the pandemic stuff. So we'll just, we'll, we'll go ahead and operate on the assumption that people at this point, were still going to see them live in shows like normal. Are heading to jail, and if I end up there, I ain't making bail. And if it goes to court, I sure don't have a case. <laughs> now, I ran out of money some time ago, but if you look at my wife, you'd never know. I'm afraid my baby's got champagne taste on a beer budget. All the bills are in my name. I have uh, I have personally played in more than a couple of bars like this where everything is made out of wood, like literally everything, the walls, the tables, the chairs, the benches, the the pillars, everything is wood. And uh, over in the corner is a mechanical bull. Sometimes somebody's riding it. Most times nobody is. Uh, yeah, like no, I've I've been in a few places like this. Uh, <laughs> what I what I really really love about uh, a joint like this is that uh, it's so completely unapologetic about what it's trying to be and what it is. Uh, and, uh, and so like, it's just one less thing that like anybody who walks through the doors of a place like this, it's just one less thing they got to think about. They can just beeline for the bar, grab a beer, start hanging out with folks. And, 
and and it's simple and it's easy and there's a lot to be said for that. Like there's a lot to be said for that. That's one of the my, one of my favorite things about a place like this. Uh so much less pressure in a joint like this than like, you know, a really high end nightclub where you got to be dressed up and you got to be, you know, smelling right and that whole thing, you know what I mean? Like it's it's a it's a it's a completely different vibe and this is this is I think a little bit more my speed than say like a high end nightclub. Although I I've been, I've performed in both. I've been fortunate enough to like spend time in both. Um, yeah, yeah, no, this is <laughs> like, like as soon as, as soon as I saw the camera shot of this place, I was like, yeah, no, I've, I've never been to this specific bar. Uh, but I know places like this. I know a lot of places like this. They, they're, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, this I, 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 I know what this feels like. Hold up, hold up. I know that guy. Back that up a sec. No, I'm afraid my baby's got champagne taste. Ah, <laughs> uh, there he is. Hold up. There he is. Yeah, yeah, that's Avi. <laughs> that's Avi hanging out with the boys. <laughs> Sometime ago, but if you look at my wife, you never know. I'm afraid my baby's got champagne taste. <laughs> On a beer budget. <laughs> okay, Whistling. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, uh, this dude right here that's doing the whistling, th- um, we got to talk about that because... That is so hard to do. That is so hard to do. Uh, first of all, um, there's something that a lot of people maybe don't understand about the human voice is that uh, there are there are literally two instruments that can slide between notes seamlessly. One is the trombone. The other is, or like you know, any like a, you slide trump. You can make a case for a slide trumpet, but a slide trumpet is just a tiny trombone. Like it's a it's trombone. So, f- at least for the purposes of this. So, you have uh, 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 two in- two instruments in the world that can do this. A trombone with a slide and the human voice. Because the way the human voice, uh, the way we uh, create pitch with a voice is by stretching vocal cords. Uh, the tighter we stress the vocal cords, the higher the pitch, right? It's just kind of like tuning a guitar string. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a bit more complicated than that, but just, you know, simplifying for the sake of the explanation here. So, um, with whistling, you can do kind of that same thing because you're, you're the way the, uh, 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 the way whistling changes pitches is by, um, changing basically the shape of the inside of your mouth and, uh, with your tongue and, you know, with your jaw and with your, you know, with your throat and et cetera. And so, um, first of all, whistling accurately and musically is incredibly, incredibly hard to do because it's so easy. It is so easy to be just a little bit off and have it just like slide out of tune just by accident. If you're, you know, if you overshoot the pitch or if you're, you know, you're trying to hit a certain a note and you uh, don't quite hit it, you know, you compensate too far one way or the other, it could end up flat, could end up sharp. And so wi- being able to whistle musically at this level actually takes practice. It sounds crazy. I know a lot of people think of whistling as like something you just learn to do when you're a kid and it's super easy and it's whatever it's, you just do it casually, like in the shower or whatever, or when you're working on something, but to be able to do it accurately and musically like takes legitimate practice. And, uh, and then to be able to record it. And this is where a lot of people, um, uh, get confused when it comes time to actually sit down and, and whistle into a microphone. Cause, uh, like I've got, I've got, anti i've got like anti-popping and anti-breath stuff on this mic but you can still hear my breath on the microphone if i blow right into it right even with all the like electronic stuff that i've got going on to try and prevent the the breath stuff on the mic so what uh what it takes to record whistling accurately without all the breath in the microphone 
is a completely different studio setup. Uh, normally with a singer, you'd have them right up on the microphone with a pop filter between uh, their mouth and the mic to help, you know, cut down on the, on the, the breath pops and stuff, the, the air movement coming off the, off the mouth when you're singing. And then you just want to capture the tone of the singing. You don't want to capture all the air coming out of their mouth with whistling. It's literally all air. And so you have to back them up and maybe even like set the mic off to one side. And then by doing that, you're able to, and using the right kind of microphone, you're able to capture all of the tone and all of the quality of the whistle without any of the breath. And so, uh, uh, I don't think people give enough credit to guys who can whistle musically and accurately on a recording like this. And I, I don't even want to think about how many takes this took to get the record, to get it like, to get it right. Also, uh, it is just now occurring to me that back here in the, <laughs> on the bowl, obvious, just chilling and raising a beer. I'm wonder. I'm starting to wonder. I was, I was wondering about like an overdub on the bass track. I wonder if Avi was actually like, I wonder if he was doing the bass, maybe. It, uh, it doesn't say anything that I know of about Avi being featured on the track. Like, I think maybe he was just kind of hanging out the day they shot the video. Uh, possibly. I, I don't know. But um, but that's him back there on the bowl, just chilling and drinking. And uh, oh, oh, by the way, most places, uh, no drinks a lot on the bowl. That's that's how messes happen. <laughs> all right that's and that's the end of that so um yeah just kind of a quick one today uh i didn't have a lot to cover but i definitely wanted to uh first of all i wanted to get back to making these videos because man i miss doing this but also um you know it, i think home free is one of those that i had always intended on on touching on uh definitely home free you're gonna see some voice play from me pretty soon um the pentatonics as much as i love pentatonics music uh, I, I need to be better about branching out beyond just the, just the pentatonics fandom. Um, and now I know there was a lot of folks that were asking me for really specific songs or from, or for really specific artists in a lot of the comments that I've been giving over the last several months. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, I, I don't, I think I forgot to mention, I, I just hit 3000 subs, uh, recently and I haven't produced a, a video in, in, at least five months. So um, I have to thank everybody. Thank you so much for watching the videos and for continuing to uh, take an interest in the channel, encouraging me to get back to making more of these because I, I really, really like doing it. Uh, they're a lot of fun. And, um, you know, as long as I can keep the legal stuff in check, which I, I think I can, uh, then I'll be able to do a lot more and we'll be able to build we'll be able to continue to build this channel into something interesting. Eventually, I want to do other content. I've got uh, podcast stuff I'm going to be releasing very soon. I have, um, you know, ideas for tech videos that I want to do. So like, you're going to see other content in addition to the music reacts, but if the music reacts, uh, if I can continue to be successful with those, then I want to continue to do them in addition to the other content. And hopefully you all are enjoying them as much as I am. Uh, cause man, these are a lot of fun, home free champagne taste on a beer budget. Like it's, it's such a, it's such a, uh, a down home, straightforward country tune. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's got a great vibe. It's really upbeat. And, uh, and I, I really, really appreciate what the boys are doing here. So, um, do yourself a favor, especially if you think I talk too much, which apparently a few of you think I talk too much in these, just go watch. I'm going to link the original video, uh, in my, in my description. So just go watch the video, the original, give them the views. Cause they, you know, they did put in the work. They deserve the views. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, watch it without me talking in between and, 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 you know, you're, you're more than welcome to do that, but that's it for me on this one. Do me a favor. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, com slash DJ switch PDX. I'm also on twitch.tv slash DJ switch PDX four nights a week right now, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And, uh, and I've got something different going on all four nights of the week on Twitch. So, uh, stop by the Twitch channel if you have a chance. And check out what I got going on over there. In the meantime, I will see you all on the next one.